A man walks into a bar and says, g -g 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 Give me a beer. The bartender says, Seems as though you've got a major stuttering problem. The man replies, no, 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 kidding. The bartender says, I used to stutter, but my wife cured me. One afternoon, she gave me or three times in a row, and I haven't stuttered since. The man says, whoa, 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 th th that's great to n -n -n know. A week later, the same man walks into the bar and says, g -g -g give me a beer. The bartender says, why didn't you try what I told you? I did, did said the man. It j j just didn't w work. But, 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 but I m m must say, you have a r really n nice apartment. <laughs> In a mental institution, a nurse walks into a room and sees a patient acting like he's driving a car. The nurse asks him, Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie replies, driving to Chicago. The nurse wishes him a good trip and leaves the room. The next day the nurse enters Charlie's room just as he stops driving his imaginary car and asks, Well, Charlie, how you doing? Charlie says, I just got into Chicago. Great, replies the nurse. The nurse leaves Charlie's room and goes across the hall into Bob's room and finds Bob sitting on his bed furiously mad. Baiting. Shocked, she asks, Bob, what are you doing? Bob says, I'm doing Charlie's wife while he's in Chicago. <laughs> and went into a tattoo parlor and asked to have a $50 bill tattooed on his The tattoo artist said, I've had some strange requests, but this one tops the lot. Why in the hell? Would you want me to tattoo your prick with a picture of a banknote? The man replied, there are three reasons. One, I love to play with my money. Two, when I play with my money, I love to see it grow. Three, and this is the most important of all, the next time my wife wants to blow 50 bucks, she won't have to leave the house. <laughs> Five-year-old man went to his doctor's office to get a sperm count. The doctor gave the man a jar and said, Take this jar home and bring me back a sample tomorrow. The next day, the 75-year-old man reappeared at the doctor's office and gave him the jar, which was as clean and empty as on the previous day. The doctor asked what had happened and the man explained, well, Doc, it's like this. First, I tried with my right hand, but nothing happened. Then, I tried with my left hand, but still got nothing. Then, I asked my wife for help. She tried with her right hand, but nothing happened. Then, she tried with her left, but still nothing happened. She even tried with her mouth. First with the teeth in, then with the teeth out. And still nothing happened. We even called up the lady next door and she tried with both hands. And her mouth too. But there was nothing doing. The doctor was shocked. You asked your neighbor? The old man replied, yeah. But no matter what we tried, we couldn't get the stupid jar open.